welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Tea Cup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are back in our Lazuli tribe, and it's been such a long time, you guys, and I miss them so much. Storm, you're beautiful. You are so amazing. I can't wait to see what happens when you finally get across to the next island. Oh my gosh, guys, there's been so many things that we need to do. And oh my gosh, Kai. Kai has finally passed away. You guys, if you remember Kai, he was Thorn's mate who passed away on this small island as in our Lazuli tribe where all of our creatures are getting ready to make some big life choices. So if you guys are new to my channel or we, um, you know, we haven't been back here in a long time, this is our Lazuli tribe, you guys. And in our Lazuli tribe, we have our sets of creatures that are very different. They grew up from um, one main family line, but however, we have a set of creatures who have basically, it looks like they've turned out very brown and very red, who are our home body creatures who um, value staying near the nest, collecting berries, and value the warmth of being together. And then we have our Lazuli creatures, our creatures following in the footsteps and in the guidance of our goddess Lapis Lazuli, who is our goddess of adventure and the ocean, who is pushing our, a lot of our blue-eyed creatures to go off and find new areas, new islands to explore and are pushing them to explore the entire archipelago which is huge and amazing and it looks great and i can't wait to see if we actually get to explore the entire thing or if we end up having to just like push to a next another like new island um, against a far sea in the future. But our blue-eyed creatures have colonized this island and now they're getting very itchy paws and they're trying to colonize the next few islands. And there are a couple different um, factions that have been decided to move along. So we have Storm and her future mate, Zephyr, who are going to be jumping into this island over here. And I think they're going to be taking their brother Jasper, Jasper over here, who is great. I think Jasper, can he mate with her? No, he can't. So he might take a mate with him. I don't know if we have anyone on the island with us. I think Larima is going to stay here and be Asfor's mate. Because Asfor was born on the main island, but he's still fairly young. So I'm not sure if these two are going to go with them. I think this group is has always been more adventurous than the others. They were, like, born from the original adventurer. Our original adventurer, I think if we can see her. Do we have the family tree? Here it is. We can see our original adventurer, Winona. Our original blue-eyed, beautiful girl who went off into the wilderness to find an adventure for her to have and she definitely had a few different adventures you guys but she had a bunch of children as you can see she pretty much had half the children that are or half the um not half the creatures but a good chunk of the creatures that are in existence right now and all of her children are not all of them but most of them have blue eyes and have in inherited her adventurous spirit. So we have Storm and Zephyr who are going to be going off to this island. And then we have some babies born to our very prickly, very um, um, interesting creature, Thorn, who is, um, who in her young years fought a carnivore and for the rest of her life wondered what it would be like um, to go on an adventure because she grew up in on our homebody side of our tribe she didn't really have a lot of ambition to go and do anything but then she realized that her life was short her bout with a carnivore cut her life a lot shorter than it needed to be and so now she ended up having a bunch of babies with our beautiful Kai who ended up passing away oh, I'm so sad um, who ended up passing away and and he, they had beautiful babies, Tanzanite, Garnet, and I'm pretty sure Rarasi was one of their babies. Let's check. I don't really remember. Um, yep, Thorn. Thorn had Garnet, Tanzanite, Beryl, and Larima. So they had all of these babies who are beautiful. But Thorn, in, she doesn't look very assuming, but she did have, she ended up fighting a carnivore and won. It was kind of amazing. But 
she ended up having Garnet, Tanzanite, and Rarossi. And Garnet and Tanzanite had an amazing thing. They have purple eyes, you guys. And so they are going to be focusing on strength. They are following a new goddess. They're not necessarily following Lapis, our ocean goddess. They're going to be following a new goddess called Amethyst, who's going to be our goddess of strength, which is going to be very interesting. So these guys are going to be traveling to this area and having their own set of babies and going to be focusing on strength and adding in like that claw i think to our mutation menu so whoo that was a lot of talking i know i just wanted to make sure like i was catching you guys up and i was catching myself up because i haven't done i haven't played with these guys in such a long time and i really like them i'm really enjoying them i just haven't done it in a long in a while because i've been pretty busy and a little burnt burnt out but that's okay because now i'm back and they're so cute and i miss them so much and coral you had another baby and you had another girl and i don't have my name list open when i needed to like i need to open my name list <laughs> so we need to name this pretty girl she also has like this new red fur that's been showing up because these guys have a mixture of red burr and ma moss brown fur i think yeah moss brown and then she has red brown fur and beige fur which is why she has this color so a lot of their babies have a tendency to be bright red which is going to be very interesting we also have Sakar who has like those blue eyes but I think because he's like two um he's like two um generations removed from the original creatures who knew about and kind of listened to their adventuring instincts he may not really go anywhere he may just adventure on this sides of the island and then maybe his children will end up having those blue eyes or those purple eyes which might le lead them to one of the future factions over here or over here so well, that will kind of allow them to grow into their personalities and because we're saying their eye color is their personalities because it's a lot easier and a lot more interesting to kind of build story that way because it's kind of it's not random definitely not random because he has black eyes and purple eyes so some of his cre some of his children may end up having violet eyes depending on who he has babies with but it's not random but it also makes for a really interesting story to see who from what bloodlines end up showing up with all these really interesting characteristics so let's name this little girl um i don't want to name her anything in i want to name her something interesting um Ooh, I like this one. Even though I don't know if it, it kind of fits, I like it. But it's Kimi Mela, which means butterfly according to our list. Kimi Mela, which I think we're just going to end up calling her Kimi, but it looks really cute and I like it. So Kimi Mela is our newest baby and Coral has been tossing some gorgeous kids to be honest um, but this this area is getting fairly crowded so I don't know how close we're going to be and Messi is having a bunch of beautiful babies. Iolite is our blue another blue eyed baby that she had um, so we're gonna see we're gonna start moving people around so we're gonna get Lila to come over here and get this we're gonna have Rami come over here and pick up this food and then jump back over here Messi is gonna come over here get pregnant again Iolite's gonna come out of the nest and then Messi's gonna go back in we have enough food to deal with of this influx of babies I really do want to make sure that we have enough girls though because my issue is recently we haven't been having a lot of girls and that's the problem Duke Vaughn is a new baby. He has A and I. He has bad eyesight. Um, or at least later. So we're gonna name him. Um. Uh, let's go with Viho, which means chief, which I like. I'm trying to. We do need some more gem names because we. Well, there are there are only so many gems to be honest guys but when we get some creatures that i think are going to be really really influential we're probably going to name them some of those names like iolite is definitely going to be a really interesting character since she's the first baby of Messi's that has that blue those blue eyes so she might end up inheriting or learning about those um interesting adventuring that her mother would have been doing 
and then we're gonna get Sakar and his brother Ruby to because these guys are these guys are gorgeous they're going to be playing around in the sand over here and Willow is one of our creatures that we were trying to move because she is necessary so we're gonna move Willow here and then we're gonna get Ripple to kind of work as like a, a, way, a way to light the way kind of. Um, maybe Larima can come down. Can Larima come down and help her? Larima, can you get over here? No, she can't help her. She'd have to, she, I think she'd have to wait another day. Cause if we put her down here, she'll like lose some, um, some like life by doing that um and it'll be an extra day lost so larima is going to be over here kind of helping her and then ripple's going to go back because ripple doesn't necessarily want to leave the island she was just kind of showing her how she figured all of the other creatures kind of left and then tahu is over here um kimi mela so kimi's there carol is over here um coral you are going to spend a little bit of time with your babies. I don't think we're going to have you have any more babies right now. And then we need someone who can crack nuts open over there. So we might end up sending Iolite towards the main camp over here to kind of, or over here so that she can start working on that tree. Cause we want to take advantage of all our food sources partially because we have so many creatures right now. We have 26 creatures and we definitely need to make sure that everyone gets fed. So Zephyr is going to be right here. Can, okay, let's see what this, let's see what happens. I don't want Storm to die. Um, so let's go here. Yep, she lost some health. So Zephyr. No, why? Oh, we have to put him back because he's going to be stuck down there. Um, Storm is going to be over here first. So she's probably going to wait for him. Jasper, A and G. I don't think there's anyone who matches up with him. Um, Tanzanite is going to be coming over here. I don't think he'll, yeah, he won't pass away from standing there. Rurasi is going to come over here along with, not ask for, ask for, I think is going to stay over here. Garnet and Rurasi are going to go over this way. They, they will go with Tanzanite and they're all going to start their own little area over there. Ask for, I think is good for, I'm not sure if we want to leave him here because Beryl is actually very comfortable underneath this tree. Um, Jasper has found another nest, like a permanent nest area. And Rotha is waiting patiently over here. And he can see, he can see Willow across the way. And I think he's waiting for her because <laughs> Willow is meant for Rotha because they have seven days left um, they have perfect genetics to match up together. We just have to make sure we work on um, keeping track of all of their, like, the things that we want added in. But they're pretty much perfect for each other. I am very happy about their pa their pairing. I just want them to, I just want it to go well. So I think, I think that's everyone. Yeah, I think everyone's moved. We really want to get these guys across the water. someone die? No, no one died. Do we have another baby? I think we have another baby. Whoa, messy. Vanu, you have, you have cracker jaw. We haven't seen a cracker jaw creature in a while. Well, thank you, sir. Messy, you're beautiful. Thank you for tossing us such a pretty baby. So we're going to have you knock the tree and then your daughter is going to go over here and start cracking nuts. She's going to start practicing because I don't think they're going to send her over there until she knows what she's doing. And then we have Vanu who has cracker jaw, those gills, that water body. So it looks like Rami is passing down those traits. It's just, 
not like manifesting, which is fine and understandable since she doesn't really have any of those traits either. Um, but Messi, thank you so much. Um, but what are we going to name him? He has good eyesight. He has good cracker jaw. He has good fertility. C and B. Um, we want to name him something interesting. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to name him something nice. We have a lot of like, let's see if there's any of my gem names that I think will work for him. He's not orangish. Um, let's go with turtle. I like it. It's not one of our, it's not one of our gem names, but we're also going with a lot of like ocean names. So turtle. Turtle works. So turtle, look at you. Oh, he's so cute. So we have, who are we missing? So did we move these guys? Nope, we gotta move these guys. So Zephyr, come on. Oh my gosh, can't believe he has such low movement. Oh my gosh, he has six days left. Storm is gonna be on her own. This is so horrible. Okay, so they need to start having babies now. So, Zephyr, what are we looking at here? So, he has good eyesight. He has good hind legs. The ram horns are going to cross over. Big nose is fine. Everything is fine for him. Her, everything is fine for her as well. So, let's try this. There we go. And then she's going to plop down a nest. And they're going to be starting their own little family on this side of the islands this island over here which is going to be the new area where we're going to have a lot more of our adventurous creatures and who else can we have over here jasper can help pick up that food and then we need to get willow over here I heard a bunny. Did you hear a bunny? I heard it. I heard it. Let's see. Tahu might come this way. Just to see if he can find anything. Um, Ruby. Sakar is going to start. I want to I want to see can we play in the water cuz I want to see if we can get that swimming cuz there's this thing where is it? Not web web paw. So you need to swim 30 times for web paw and for water body you need to swim 50 times and then for Barina, poison fangs, antlers, nope 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 gills you need to swim 50 times so the best thing we'd get would be web paw but we need to be able to breathe underwater so i kind of want us to have gills or water body one or the other and i don't know if we're going to be able to swim 50 times without someone like either having it already like one of rami and messi's kids just kind of tossing it at us or um um someone basically going their whole life underwater and kind of passing away by swimming which would be horrible for us to do to one of our lovely nichelings Cor like carol you're gonna go out here ripple would be happy with the fact that she was able to see that willow got across okay and willow is finally on this side of the islands um she finally gets to meet Rota, who's gonna come over here and say hi to her. And I think they're going to fall in love at first sight. Larima <laughs> is gonna get out of the way so they can have some alone time. And Rota, what are the issues? So he has a blind eye, webbed hind legs, which we're gonna keep. A fishing tail, we're gonna keep. We don't really wanna get rid of that. She has everything fine, so we're gonna Get rid of those blind eyes. And we're going to put something down for her just in case so that we don't have to worry about him getting it. And I really want none of them have any of those water body traits, but we really want to keep that 
F in the family, but they also have really bad fertility. So I want, let's see, do we have any of the fertility things unlocked? No, we don't. So we don't have normal fertility or high fertility. So we're just gonna have to hope for the best right now. Yes, woo. Thank you, Lapis, for smiling down upon us. And as for is gonna be over here. And I think he, him and Larima are gonna maybe start a little bit of romance, but I'm not sure if they're going to actually like be together now or maybe wait till later since Larima is still really young. Ask for isn't that old. So he can wait if she's probably asking him to wait for her. Tide is getting fairly old, but he doesn't really have anything that we need to breed in. I don't know if we have anyone. Do we have anyone else with E? Um, Let's see. Tide has E, Zephyr has E, and Asphor has E. So E is the one thing we want to make sure that we have. So if Asphor has a baby with E, maybe we can overlook it. Um, but right now, we don't really need him to breed with anyone. But he is D and E, so he could breed with someone. Jasper, A and G, he can't breed with anyone here. He could possibly breed with Larima, but I don't really know if he wants to. He's kind of, he's been a bachelor for such a long time. I'm not sure if he wants to change his ways. Tanzanite is going to go explore this area for Rarasi so she can be a little bit more comfortable. Because she's not old enough yet for any of them to have babies. And there we go. And there's lots of bunnies on this island. Oh, that's perfect. So these guys are going to be fine for food. That's good. That's very good. So we have the those two on the nest. That's good. We have Kimi Mela. So little Kimi over here hanging out with her brother. And Coral is just overlooking her beautiful nesting area being very happy with herself her mother left this area to her and she has been very proud of herself for being able to go off and do what she did which is be very productive have a lot of babies and be able to make sure that the tribe is doing well in wave over here i think i'm not sure i think he'll end up being a little bit restless and start traveling because he's not really needed he might be like he's not he's not one of our adventurous creatures he does have that gills inactive and that um, medium body but so he could pass it down if he had a baby with someone but I think he's gonna be more of a hidden adventurer he's going to follow the waves like his name suggests and kind of go off on his own so this should be interesting. He might meet up with some of the creatures on this side. And I don't know, will he be, will, can he meet with her? No, he can't meet with her Rossi. So maybe if they have a, maybe if they have children, but I'm not sure. So let's skip the day. <gasps> Woo. So someone passed away. <gasps> no. Coral, your mate passed away. That's sad. I'm sorry. And Rami is getting older too, so Messi might not might have to have him come back so they can have one more baby. There we go. So he's just gonna sit around and teach his children the ways the ways of the tribe. And then Turtle over here. And we're gonna get Viho to sit over underneath, underneath the tree. Coral is all alone now. She's had a mate for such a long time. I don't know what she's going to do with herself. She now has a lot of children to keep her company, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I hear bunnies. I hear them. Like, are you serious? There we go. They're just falling underneath these guys' paws. That's kind of funny. So I think they're both of these guys are presenting meat for meat to Rarasi. Like, look, look what we can do. We can provide for you. You should stay with us which is also really cool. I think we're gonna leave all the grass up over there. Whoa, Kukir, you have age immunity? Hello, welcome. You should be part of our tribe. Do we have anyone with age immunity? I don't think so. H? No, we don't. 
kookier do you how do you eyesight he has blue eyesight inactive so and he has webbed hind legs oh he is good swimming okay jasper get him there we go um so kook here you are going to be very helpful you we have 227 food so you don't we don't need you to do much of anything except have babies you have st you using you have stealth paw velvet paw so he is webbed hind legs and velvet paw so this is interesting so what are we gonna do kook here he is a really beautiful peach color so we're gonna have to rename you you have horrible 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 um yeah, um fertility right now what are we gonna name him let's name him carnelian Ooh. no let's name him copper yes no wait not copper what are we gonna name him mm, i hate not knowing um let's name him rodenite okay i'm fine with this rodenite i'm fine with that so we're going to name him Rhodonite because he is our newest creature. Rhodonite. I think that's how I say that. Yes, that's how you guys say it. So Rhodonite is a very interesting mix mash of a land creature and a water creature. And I think this will be really interesting for the tribe because we won't really know what to do with him. He's a beautiful pinkish color. Um, he doesn't really fit in anywhere but he might um once he starts meeting some of the females of the tribe they might take a liking to him but i'm not sure if it's a sign or not from our goddess so we're just gonna have to see what happens and i think we're just gonna go through the rest of this day like look over all the new babies <gasps> Ooh, rokuro you look great well done zafir and he passed down that e immunity yes so we don't really have to worry about that too much but these guys look like they're gonna do fine so zafir definitely just has to have a lot they just have definitely have to have a lot of babies um so let's see we need to name rokuro he is like a he's bluish let's name him let's name him alexandrite because he reminds me of Ale he also reminds me in like in his face of like alexander the great maybe so let's name him alexandrite yeah that's it i like that one so we have storm's first baby is named alexandrite and then we're gonna have zephyr come over here mate with her there we go and then she can kind of start clearing away some of the grass their their little family is starting which is good barrel is doing a wonderful job looking after this tree as for and Larima are not really starting any form of a romance right now but I can see it happening because these two are like the youngest on this section Rota and Willow are not long for this world um, so they're not gonna be having too many babies too quickly we're gonna try and make sure they have some babies because we want Rota to pass down that F immunity, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. No, we need some more material. There we go. So now she can have another baby. So Tide and Tahu is here. And I don't know if Tahu yeah, Tahu and Lila can't have any babies. But Lila, she can't pick up any clams or anything. Let's see, can Sakar? I want us to be able to find some form of like a water breathing berry because that would make my life so much easier. This guy can't breathe underwater. Yeah, we know he can't breathe underwater, but I just needed him to try just once or twice. Um, that can be his adventurous trait to try breathing underwater like once, <laughs> just just once. And then let's see, Wave, who would not have found anything interesting on this side. We'll try like fishing. He's going to try a lot of things. He's going to be very adventurous while he explores this side of the island and 
Ruby, I'm not sure. He might end up being the new de facto leader of the tribe once um, his mother passes away. I'm not sure, considering that he's the oldest, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Ruby's the oldest. Is Ruby the oldest? Coral, who's the oldest of your babies? So, Coral, who's the oldest of your babies? There's Kimmy Mella. There's Carol. There's Tahu, Sakar, and Ruby. So I think Sakar and Ruby are the same age. So they're probably going to end up fighting it out for the rule of the tribe right now. Or at least the rule of this side of the tribe. Because it's already kind of de facto established that um, Ruby and them are going to be over there but then we have storm over here who's kind of they've kind of given up on who's going to rule whatever they're just kind of more freelance in it i think that's what we're going for and then definitely the amethyst side of our tribe is a is definitely less concerned about what other what the creature other creatures of the tribes are going to be doing um let's see these guys are going to be all about hunting down these moles and these bunnies that seem to be everywhere on this on this tiny little island, um, which is going to be very interesting. And they might end up branching out to different islands or meeting up with Wave and going off to these islands. It should be fun. So I think that's where we're going to end this part right here, you guys. We have gone a lot done today. Our creatures have started off on their new journeys. Storm and Zephyr have started their new colony on this island. We have Amethyst, the, our Amethyst section of our tribe, our strength-based tribe, off on this island, kind of honing their strength, we're saying. Garnet and Tanzanite and Rarasi are all going to be starting their own like strength version of the tribe. We're going to be adding in some claw to them, seeing how that works out for them. They're probably going to stick with like hunting over here. We're not going to clear out any grasses so that they can focus on like working on their stealth and everything like that. It should be fun. And then we have this little try this little area over here where we're kind of just making sure we can keep up our numbers. We're definitely working on our numbers over here. And Coral, our current leader of our homebodies of our tribe, is definitely trying to figure out what she's going to do now that her mate is gone. And she has a couple she, she has a couple days left of her life. And so now we're going to be seeing who's going to be her successor for the um more um, or like our less adventurous side of our tribe. So if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments if you have any more names for me, things we can name our new babies. Like I don't think I named this little one over here. So things we can name our new babies, please let me know down in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!